Hello, we are going to solve this problem here and we are asked to find out what is P1 here and then P2 here. Okay, this one will be uh, quite tricky. So let's see, we, because we have to be very careful about the sign here. And what can I do is I will do KVL here at this loop here. So let's name this loop here as I1. Okay and let's see what can we get from here so we are asked to find out p1 what is p1 p1 here is i1 multiplied by the resistance right the resistance so i will have 4 ohm here so we'll have i1 multiplied by 4 or we can rewrite this as p1 is equal to 4 i1 good and then what is P2 here? P2. Look, I1 is going to the left, right? But P2, the positive sign is there. So we should, the current should be going there, right? But then that is minus I1 here, right? Because the positive sign and negative sign here. The current should be goes from positive to negative in a resistor so we will have p2 here is minus i1 multiplied by the resistance which is 2 or we can rewrite this as p2 is equal to minus 2 i1 okay good now let's do KVL at loop I1. Let's do KVL at loop I1. What does KVL say? KVL say that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Good. We have four components here. And let's start from this 32 volt voltage source. Okay. Here the current I1 here is flowing from the negative terminal to positive terminal. So because it goes into negative terminal, our sign will be negative. So we will have minus and we already have the voltage here which is 32. So we'll have 32 volt here. And then plus, okay, now our current goes here. And remember that we entered from the positive terminal here. So we will have plus sign and then the, the value is P1, right? So we will have P1 here, okay? And then it will go here, but then it goes into negative terminal. So our sign will be negative here, but then the value here is minus 8. So we will have minus 8 here. We have to be very careful about the sign. And then here we the current will go here, but then it's entered from the negative sign here. So we will have minus sign and then the value is P2. So we'll have P2 here. And all of that will equal to zero. Good. Now let's do some simple math. So we'll have minus 32 plus V1. And then minus and minus will be plus, And then we will have 8. And we still have minus P2. Good. Minus 32 plus 8 will be minus 24. And this will equal to 0. And we will have plus P1. And then minus P2 is equal to 0. Or we can rewrite that as P1 minus P2 is equal to 24 okay but then what can we do from here we know that p1 here is for i1 and then p2 is minus 2 i1 so let's substitute that we know that p1 here is for i1 so we we'll have 4 i1 and then minus p2 p2 which be minus 2 i1 Good. All of that will equal to 24. And then because this is minus and minus, we will have 4i1 
plus 2i1. And that will equal to 24. And so we will have 6i1 is equal to 24. Okay. But then we can divide both sides by 6. So we will have I1 here is equal to 4. And the unit will be in ampere. However, the question does not ask about I1 but V1 and V2. But we already know what the equation for V1 here. So V1 is equal to 4 I1. V1 is equal to 4 I1. And that will equal to 4 multiplied by 6. And, oh, no, 4 I1. 4 multiplied by 4. 4 multiplied by 4. And that will be 16. So we know that V1 is equal to 16. And the unit here will be in 4. So this is the value of V1. And then what is the value of V2? V2 is minus 2i1. So we will have minus 2 multiplied by 4. That will be minus 8. So therefore, V2 is equal to minus 8. And the unit will be in 4. Okay. And I think that's all for this problem. Hopefully, I did not make any mistakes in my calculation. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.